Good morning, Junior Six. Today, we start revising what we had studied together during this term. First of all, we'll start with grammar. This term, we talked about passive voice and we talked about if conditional type three. Let us start with passive voice. In passive voice, we have taken four tenses. Present simple passive, object, plus is, am, are, plus past participle tense of the verb, concerning past simple passive, object, plus was or where, plus past participle tense of the verb, present perfect passive, object plus have or has, plus been, plus past participle tense of the verb, finally past perfect passive, object plus had, plus been, plus past participle tense of the verb. Now, let us answer some sentences. Bear in mind, you will find all these exercises in your revision booklet. First of all, change into passive. As we have taken several tenses, so how can we differ between these sentences? Look at the verb, as we said before. Like in number one, someone cleaned the room. Cleaned, this is an active past simple sentence. So the answer will be, the room was cleaned by someone. In number two, they didn't find any evidence. The answer will be, no evidence was found by them. In number four, Dr. Richard has saved Sylvia's life. The answer will be Sylvia's life had been saved by Dr. Richard. Five, the Americans had discovered another planet. Another planet had been discovered by the Americans. Then, somebody has cleaned the kitchen. The answer, the kitchen has been cleaned by somebody. Then, Tom has written a letter. A letter has been written by Tom. Most African governments protect rhinos. Rhinos are protected by most African governments. Finally, they don't make these cars in Japan. The answer, these cars aren't made in Japan by them. This is how we transfer the active sentences into passive one. Please revise the rules before answering this. Then, let us move to the if conditional type three. In order to answer, we have to revise the rule of if conditional. It is if close plus main close, as we know. If plus had plus past participle, which is past perfect, plus would plus have plus past participle tense of the verb. To illustrate, let us move to the exercise. Complete using the correct form of the verb. In number one, Kevin caught the bus on time, but if he missed the bus, as we know, after if, past perfect. So I should say, if he had missed the bus, he would have been late for his appointment. In number two, Bob didn't try to me when he was on vacation, but if, as long as I have if, so after if I say, if he had known my address, he, this is the main clause now, would have sent me a postcard. In number three, we didn't buy the car because it was too expensive, but if it had been a little cheaper, we would have bought it. In number four, they don't go to her party, but if she had invited, yes, them, they would have gone. In number five, it was cold yesterday, but if it had been warmer, we would have gone to the beach. Finally, in number six, our team lost the football game last night, but if George had played, we probably would have won. Let us move to the second exercise here. Choose the correct answer. In number one, if Mary had gone to the party, I, I what, went or would have gone or had gone? The answer will be would have gone as we are here in the main clause. In number two, if you didn't lend or don't lend or hadn't lent, if, if close, so which tense or which, which is the correct answer? Of course, it is hadn't lent me the money, I wouldn't have bought the ticket. In number three, I wouldn't have stayed at home 
if you if you hadn't recommend or didn't recommend or don't recommend hadn't recommended this one and number four she would have been hurt in the car accident if she of course hadn't hadn't worn her seat belt then at number five if you had asked or asked or asked me i would have helped you of course this is had asked because we are talking about after if close and number six if i hadn't taken my umbrella i now we are in the main close uh, uh, got or had gotten or would have gotten very wet of course the answer will be would have gotten and number seven I would have been very disappointed if you don't come wouldn't have come or hadn't come here we are talking after if closed so I will choose hadn't come and number eight if she wasn't or hadn't been or wouldn't be in such a hurry after if we choose what of course past perfect hadn't been let us move to the third exercise complete using if conditional type 3 very easy and very straightforward uh, question let us answer together the first sentence if you study for the test the answer will be had studied for the test you of course this is the main clause it will be you would have passed in number two if you had asked me main clause I would have helped you and number three if you after if past perfect if you had spoken English she this is main clause I will answer she would have understood then in number four here we said before there's don't panic if we change if we exchange the places between main clause and if clause here the sentence started with or starts with if uh, main close so the answer will be I would have written you a postcard if I had had your address in number five if it hadn't started bear in mind this is negative we would have walked to the beach or to the museum finally in number six if she if she of course past perfect if she had taken the bus she this is the main clause wouldn't have arrived on time this this is all for grammar thank you welcome back now let us revise a part of vocabulary uh, look at here again um, i just want to remind you that you will find all these exercises in your revision booklet the first one you will find it on page one you have the words rugged pesky radiant device and circular rugged we said before this word is an adjective means rough or uneven or unsmooth pesky this is an adjective annoyed uh, or annoying ra radiant also this is an adjective um, uh, reflect uh, reflects that someone is happy or beautiful a uh, device this word is a verb to plan or to create an idea circular this word is an adjective means shaped like a circle and number one she looked at her wedding so the answer here will be what radiant this is number one number two the rest of the island is what and mountainous of course it's rugged in number three a uh, what central courtyard around a fountain forms a scenic um, uh, entrance way the answer will be circular in number four Alicia's letter sister letter sister follows her around the house all day the answer will be pesky she's annoying her in number five I prefer to use the app because it allows me to device my own music let us move to the second exercise here this is choose 
And number one, don't cling or summit or ledge to the first thing you see. The answer will be cling. And number two, the city stands on a rocky. Rocky what? Dome or plateau or loom? Of course, this is plateau. Plateau, this word is a noun, means a place which is um, above the sea level. And number three, a beetle began to crawl laboriously, ledge or expedition? Of course, the answer is laboriously. It was exerting a hard effort and it took a very long time. And number four, the rope suddenly went what? Went crack or slack or dome? Of course, slack means loose or untight. And number five, the rock is steep and these are, and the, and these are few. Handholds or loom or awesome. Of course, handholds, places or parts that you can catch by your hand. Complete here, page number three, you will find it also in your revision booklet. You have the words scan, typical, assigned, housekeeper, frantic. Scan, we said before, this is a noun. Um, small round cakes look like cakes. We can eat it sweety or salty. Typical, regular. Assigned, to give someone a task or a mission to do. Housekeeper, um, she's a servant, yeah, mainly she's, she's a woman uh, who works at house and she's responsible for doing house chores. Then we have the word frantic, this word is an adjective to do something quickly because you are uh, angry or, uh, or frightened or whatever. And number one, today wasn't what? wasn't a work day since our boss actually allowed us to take a break. The answer will be typical. And number two, I cleaned up a bit and asked our what to rinse off the steps and flowers. The answer will be housekeeper, of course. And number three, your mother was what when you didn't come last night? Of course, she was frantic. She was worried and afraid. And number four, in Albania, the breakfast often consists of what? Milk, tea, and so on. Of course, scone. Finally, in number five, the teacher was as 50 math problem for homework. Of course, she assigned us. She gave us 50 math uh, problems to solve. Now, let us move to the spelling part. In spelling, of course, you will find all these sentences in your revision booklet. In number one, those what kids are really annoying. The answer will be pesky. In number two, he smiled with what? The word begins with S. When he won the prize, he smiled with satisfaction. In number three, earthquakes and floods are natural what? And the word begins with D, disasters. In number four, they what with each other by mail and the word begins with C. Of course, it's communicate. In number five, the lion what out from behind the tree and captured its prey and the word begins with L. The answer is leaped. Okay, in number six. Because of her what and the word begins with Y, appearance and energetic spirit, it was hard for anyone to believe that Tina was six years old. So the answer would be youthful. She's acting and um, uh, she looks like she's young in number seven or in number ten because we, pick, we picked and chose some sentences from the revision booklet. We were wet together like uh, sardines in a can and the word begins with J. Yes, it's jammed. Unable to move. Look at sentence number twelve in your revision booklet. We were told that Newton discovered the law of what? And the word begins with G, gravity. In number 18 now, 
a delicious what was coming from the kitchen? And the word begins with A. The answer is aroma. Aroma, this word is a noun, means pleasant and beautiful smell. In number 19, the teacher told the children to stop what in the class? And the word begins with C and H, chattering. Talking together in class. Finally, sentence number 21, George by train is more, uh, traveling, I'm sorry, uh, traveling by train is more what than going, by, going by train is more what than going by plane, and the word begins with E, the answer will be economically. Now, now let us revise some questions in, uh, in your reader and of course you'll find these questions and their answers in your revision booklet. The first one, who is Theseus? Theseus, he is the Duke of Athens and uh, he is Hippolytus' uh, fiance and remember we said before that they were preparing themselves to get married within four days. And number two, what problem did Aegeus have with his daughter? As Aegeus gave her, his permission to Demetrius to marry his daughter Hermia, yet she was in love with Lysander, so she didn't want to marry Demetrius. And number three, what would happen to Hermia if she refused her father's wishes or orders? Hermia will be punished by the Athenian law, and we said before the Athenian law either to be sent to death or to be a nun or to be sent to a nunnery. In number four, what was Lysander's plan? Lysander planned to meet Hermia at night in the woods to escape outside Athens and get married at Lysander's aunt's house so they wouldn't be punished by the Athenian law. Question number five, who did Hermia tell about the plan and why? Hermia told Helena about the plan to prove that she wasn't in love with Demetrius as Helena thought. In number six, what did Helena decide to do when Hermia told her the plan and why? Helena decide, decided to tell Demetrius about Lysander's and Hermia's plan um, as she was trying to make him love her again. She was trying to regain her beloved Demetrius back. In number seven, where are the craftsmen going to meet and why? They are going to, make, to, meet, to meet in the woods to rehearse for the play. They decided to perform in front of the Duke on his wedding ceremony. And number eight, who are Oberon and Titania? Oberon was the king of fairies and Titania was the queen of fairies. And remember that she was the most beautiful fairy in the kingdom. Then, and number nine, who was Oberon's servant? Of course, he is Puck. In number 10, what did Puck always do? We said before that Puck enjoyed playing tricks on humans. And here you have to mention several examples. The first example was if someone passed or walked past Puck carrying bu buckets of milk, Puck would cast a spell on milk, changing it into sour. The second example, if a traveler got lost in the woods, Puck would cast a spell uh, on the way to make it much more harder than it should be. Finally, Puck cast a spell on Bottom and changed him to be a donkey-headed man. Then, in number 11, why was Oberon angry with Titania? We said before that Oberon and Titania were fighting together because of the Indian boy. Titania, on one hand, she loved the Indian boy and she promised to keep him, uh, she promised his mother to keep him uh, and to look after him after her death. On the other hand, Oberon loved the Indian boy, he saw him as a son and he wanted to make him a knight. In number 12, what was the surprise that Oberon had for Titania? When Titania was sleeping in, the cave, in her cave, Oberon poured the love potion onto her sleeping eyes. As a result, when she woke up, she fell in love with the donkey-headed bottom. In number 13, Demetrius was cruel and mean. We said this question before, discuss. 
as he left her, Helena, crying and sobbing alone in the dark woods. He was talking to her roughly and aggressively and didn't care about her feelings towards him. In number 14, what did Helena believe? Helena believed that Demetrius will uh, love her again uh, and f forget about Hermia. The last question here, why did Oberon decide to involve in the affairs of humans? We said before that Oberon wasn't interfering with humans, but he inter uh, interfered with humans for this situation only as he felt sorry for Helena when she heard when he heard her crying and begging Demetrius to love her. This is everything for today. Please remember that you have a homework in your comprehension booklet, page number 55, and you have a writing homework. You will find the topic on page number 34 in your writing booklet. Thank you, thank you Julian Six, and have a good day. Thank you.